Hello and welcome to Christmas vlog number one. What's going to happen this month is I know a lot of people do vlogmas. I know a lot of people will film every single day of the week. Uh, every single day of the week, every single day of the month. It's going swimmingly as usual, uh, but I am not going to be doing that. I work full time. There is no way I can do a vlogmas every single day of the week, um, month, every single day of the month. There is no way I can achieve that. But what I figured was I would maybe put one up a week. I can achieve that for you, I think. So we'll try and get in some festive spirit because I have really, really been struggling with some festive spirit this year, definitely. So today is the 1st of December when I start filming this. I might film a little bit through the week. It's gonna be like a little weekly vlog of what I've been doing throughout kind of the month of December. I am looking very, very fetching with the new breakouts that's happening. This is actually old pigmentation here. This is what I always cover with uh, some concealer. But this here, oh, this is a fucking active, very sore, very hormonal, because that just arrived yesterday too, breakout that is happening on my chin right here. And look, look at my, this is my, uh, what do you call it? Pineapple? Like, some people call it a mom bun. My plan today is, I actually just received an order from Look Fantastic, which is quite exciting. Uh, I've got, basically, today's Tuesday, and Black Friday was just Friday there, and obviously, Cyber Monday was yesterday. And the parcels have started arriving, which is pretty impressive considering that it was only like three or four days ago. I was expecting I wouldn't see stuff like that till next month. So what I might do today, I'm gonna get myself in a shower first. That would help. I do have to go to the post office today. I've got something to send over. Um, it's the Vive highlighter. I've got that to send over to Cara C today and it's going to Canada. So I'm gonna send it right at the start of the month. So hopefully she'll get it before Christmas. And I'm gonna do that today. I might go to B&M's as well. At the moment, Glasgow is still in tier four full lockdown. So there are a lot of shops that are shut. There's a lot of places I can't go. But places like B&M, B&Q, homeware places are still open. And I'm not just going for the fun of it to make this video, don't worry. I'm going because I want to get some Christmas bits for the house. I don't usually decorate my tree until the 12th, much to everybody's dismay. But I'm very traditional with it. I don't like sticking it up before then. I don't know about anybody else. And I'm thinking I might put it up on the 9th or the 10th of December, which will be next week's vlog. <laughs> and I'm gonna to go to B&M's today and try and pick up a few little bits and bobs to just stick around the house and make me feel a little bit more festive before the decorations go up. Anyway, so that is all for now. Look at this cat. A wee ziggy boogie. Look at her. Aww. I'm going for a shower now. You're not gonna see that. I also don't think you'd want to see that. Uh, and I'll see you in a wee bit. Hi, so I am just out of the shower and I thought, why not involve you in a little bit of my skincare? Because I talk about skincare all the fucking time, don't know. So I thought, let's just do it today on the camera, why not? You've heard me speak about it a million times. So at this point, obviously, am I showing, <laughs> am I showing tits? What tits would be the good question? <laughs> just thought there, was that a little thingy? But actually I think you're cut off about there, it's fine. Right, so I've came out of the shower, obviously I've washed my hair, I have put my body moisturizer on, I do all that kind of stuff in the bathroom. But by the time I come through here, you know, I've brushed my teeth, I've done this, I've done that. My skin is now dry from being out of the shower. So that is why I use my favorite. I just spray my face with this. As I've said before, you don't need to buy that. Please don't feel the need to. You could splash your face with some water just to dampen it up before you put anything on it. Been using my Time Revolution from Misha. By the way, none of this is sponsored. I just thought that seemed really, really <laughs> super American advent there. Been using my Time Revolution. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. So right. now I just put that all over my face and as I said, it feels like a serum. It goes on like water, but there's something about it that feels kind of like a serum. I don't know what it is. So I just kind of press that onto my skin. Then what do I do? What do, where do I go from here? I put on a hyaluronic acid from there. Hyaluronic acid and uh, niacinamide as well. At the moment, I am just finishing off the last of the one from Beauty Bay. Just because I don't like waste, to be honest with you. It wasn't my favourite, but I do not like waste, so that is why I'm using it up. And then I go in with my niacinamide from the Inky. This is probably, I, I'm going to say one of my favourite niacinamides now. For years, it would have been the Ordinary, and they are interchangeable. I wouldn't mind having to use the Ordinary again. In fact, I've got a backup of the Ordinary which will get used before I buy any more of the Inky but the texture of this one is just much much nicer 
than that of the ordinary one, annoyingly so. <laughs> but it is about the same price anyway, but I know that um, the ordinary now do these big 60ml bottles. Okay, so that's what I do. Then I put on a little bit of eye serum. Uh, I use the caffeine eye serum. I have used lots of different eye serums over the years. Um, you know, it's dependent on whether or not you think an eye serum is worth it, but this is what I do. I'm just letting you know. Um, and I just put them on the ring finger. As everybody knows, it's supposed to be a less pressurising finger. And I just put that round about here in this area to de-puff in the morning. I don't generally use this at night. I have a totally different kind of skin, well not totally different, but a different skincare routine for night time. And I just pat it on. I don't pull my eyes, I just pat it on. Uh, with a serum, it's always important to put it on before moisturiser, stuff like that, because moisturiser are heavy. You want the serum to be able to penetrate into the skin. If you put a moisturiser on before that, it will not penetrate through the moisturiser. So once I've put all of my kind of serums and stuff on, generally what I would do is go and brush my hair out because it's obviously wet. I let all that soak into my skin and then I go ahead with my moisturisers and things like that. So I'm going to go and do that because it is true to what I do in the morning and I'm not going to lie to you. And then I'll come back with the moisturisers. Alright, so I brush my hair out. I just kind of comb it out. Sometimes I'll dry my hair before I put my moisturiser on. Um, but... I tend to do it like once I've brushed it out. I don't wash my hair every day. Anyway, moisturiser, that's what I'm taking now. And I just put a little dud here. Got this, ugh, this agony spot going on at the moment. But there's not much I can do for it because a treatment, I've put niacinamide on obviously, but a treatment would involve me having a big kind of dot on my face for a period of time. So we're just gonna moisturise over the top of it today and hope that niacinamide does a little bit of something to it. Um, obviously take your moisturiser right down your neck and my décolletage, I believe that's what, <laughs> that's how you say it, décolletage, décolletage, I don't know, my French accent isn't wonderful, most of my accents aren't wonderful, let's face it. Now as I said, this is kind of smoothing, like it, it is kind of got that dimethicone feel into it, but it does soon sink in, it doesn't make me feel like as if I've got that waxy feeling on my skin like the now it feels a little like that but then it sinks in and it doesn't bother me now i am going to put on a lip balm but i've run out of glossy stuff so hold on i need to go and get that new one. Ooh, this is quite solid this is probably not what i expected it's quite you like you need to dig into it um it does soften up though so let's give this a bash this is probably much more of a sleeping mask type lip balm, but my lips have been really, really dry at the moment, I think, with my work as well, because you do have to wear a mask all the time when you're at work. Oh, it's got, it's got a little bit of scrubbies in it as well. Um, you do have to wear a mask all the time at work, um, apart from when you're maybe eating your lunch or something. And my lips are getting so, so dry, along with the weather as well, and probably I am not drinking enough at the moment. So, we're gonna put this on. Yeah, I definitely think this is much more of a nighttime scrubby come sleep mask type situation, but it's gonna do the job today. And then lastly, I go in with my eye cream. But again, with my eye cream, I just kinda, see if it's like the serum, I really just put the serum round about here. But if it's the eye cream, I put it here as well, and I know that is never advised, I'm not a professional. The reason I do it though is because as I get a little older, I feel that area, does need a little bit of moisturisation before I'm putting any makeup on it and obviously I am going to be putting makeup on today so I'm just I put it kind of right right around that area and again just patting I don't generally pull at the eyelid with it so that's me that's what I've done I will obviously put on some SPF and I am going to use the beauty pie one because I'm really enjoying that at the moment and again we'll probably leave a little kind of 20 minutes before I put any makeup on on top of that. Takes a while, I know you're like what the fuck but <laughs> it's funny because I get other things done in between, don't worry I've got a million things to do this morning and while I'm waiting for other skincare to sink in. That's the way I do it, that's how I work it. So I hope you enjoyed that, just a little mini skincare update or how I do my skincare in the morning because I know I speak about skincare quite a lot, so there you go. All right, so I've got myself a little bit more done up now, done the hair, put a little bit of slap on. I have packed up the parcels I need to take back and the parcels that I need to send as well because I've got that one to go to Cara. And we're gonna get on our way now. I might put a hat on. Yep, yeah, that's better. Gonna have a warm head now as well, so let's go.
So I just got out of B&M's. B&M's didn't have that much stuff that was that good, but they had a lot of good sweeties. Um, like, you know how at Christmas people like to get somebody a box of chocolates or a selection box or anything like that. They had loads and loads of good sweeties, so I picked up so many sweeties. Uh, I did pick up a couple of little decor things. I'll show you when I get home because I think I'll pop them up maybe in the background of my videos. Because um, as I said, I don't usually put my tree up till the 12th. So I'm, I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to my guns on this one. I'm going to do it on the 9th or the 10th. Um, and obviously today is the first. So I'm going to go and get a drive through Costa now. I hope. wonder if they've got the festive um, Black Forest Gato hot chocolate on. But I will show you the stuff that I picked up in B&M's when I get home. I am fighting with myself whether or not to go to B&Q, but I don't like going to too many shops in the one day during this pandemic. It's not a thing. I like to go where I need to go and get out. I don't like to be doing too much of it. So I'm going to go and get a cluster just now. That's my plan. Hello, so I'm back home now. So I'm just going to give you a little mini haul of the things I picked up because I'm not going to show you like boxes and boxes of sweeties because, you know, we all know what sweeties look like. Sorry, I've literally just walked in the door. <laughs> um... Uh, so first of all, as I was saying, I got like a wee twig-like tree, a little two foot tree, but it's got like light up here. So what I think I will do is have this in here somewhere on a table for videos and they'll look a little festive. That's my plan anyway. And then I can put the odd bauble on it if I want a miniature bauble. Uh, but because my bedroom is like grey and this kind of blush pink colour, I didn't want a Christmas Christmas tree. I know that seems really, really Scrooge-like, but I quite prefer a green, like, why have I still got my hat on? Classic hat here now, so you know. So because I like a classic Christmas tree, I figured it probably wouldn't go in here, but also I don't like black Christmas trees, I don't like white Christmas trees, silver, gold, etc. I don't like coloured Christmas trees, I just like them to look like a tree. So I thought that that one would probably go a bit better. I also picked up these, which is like branches, like branch lights. And the reason I picked these up, I will show you probably later on in the week, is because when I clear the living room to actually put up some decorations and festivities, uh, they will go into a big vase that I've got at the side of my fireplace because I think they will look quite nice. Now, as I was saying, there was loads of really good sweeties. So I picked up some of these, like things like this, sweeties that you know you're going to give people at Christmas time, loads of stuff like that. I got a few of these little things, which are like novelty, just daft things. And I like to pick them up and be them. So this is like a dynamite block, <laughs> but it's um, chili sauce. I'm talking quietly because this is for Alan he's next door and I know he doesn't watch the videos anyway so he'll be none the wiser but um yeah it's like little bottles of hot sauce all different hot sauces that looks like dynamite so I thought that was really cute so it's just a stupid so stocking filler it's under a fiver it wasn't very much I also picked up these will you see them is it okay sorry they were a fiver as well and they're it's like little robins little plushy robins I thought they were really cute I thought they would look quite nice again um maybe in here even because they're grey um I don't really like overly sparkly you getting the point that I don't like overly gaudy Christmas stuff. You know how some, and I say that, but some people have got really traditional Christmas trees that have coloured fairy lights and things and they look amazing, but personally it's just not my taste. So I thought I'll get the little plain robins, they'll be nice. I like animals. I love little animal things. I also picked up a couple of these. These are like cat chaser things, like it's basically a feather on a stick. But we picked up a pack of these, I think this was in the Amazon order that I'd done a while ago and my cat fucking loves them but annoyingly they break the sticks so I have a million of these attachments to go on them like different feathers and fishes and like fucking million toys to go on them but the sticks, the sticks never last very long it's not this kind that I bought before but when I seen it and I thought oh well at least I'll get a new stick for them for their Christmas I know, get my cat's Christmas presents, I'm a bit of a loser but what can I say? I'm not a mother yet, so <laughs> why not spoil your child that is two kittens? They also had some really nice Thornton stuff, so I picked this up as well because I thought that will absolutely go to somebody, probably Alan, but you know, I don't like to make sure, but I like to pick up almost like, if it's sweeties and things, I pick up a little bit more because then if you, not that we'll be doing it this year, but it used to be if you had someone pop around unexpectedly at Christmas, you just had a little something to give them, like just a mind in. I kind of like doing that, but obviously that will not be happening this year. But this year I picked up quite a lot of things for my friends at work because I am working on Christmas Day. And on Christmas Day, um, it's not required that you do a Secret Santa or give, but if I'm on Christmas Day, I always try and get the people I'm on with just a little mind in because you're working Christmas Day. You are working on Christmas Day. It's the shittest day of the year to have to work. And if you have to work over the festive period, 
I like to try and make it as Christmassy as possible. And last year, one of my friends, God bless her, I don't know if I've already told you this, but she, it was her first year ever working Christmas. She's a newly qualified nurse. And she was like, everybody's told me that it's usually, like, they try and make it fun. And I ended up being Cocoa Pops for my Christmas dinner. And I was like, what the fuck happened last year? Who was on? How did this happen? So I am preparating to make sure that Christmas in the ward is going to be at least kind of festive and that they enjoy it rather than being like, fuck me, I'm in my work on Christmas day and my family are at home enjoying the bubbly. And these are just a few of the daft things that I picked up for some of the people in my work. So it's like a cup with their monogram on it, um, a little pen with a monogram on it. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a C on it. I picked them up a few different things and I also seen these in B&M's which were really, really cute. So it's these, sorry, I just turned the brightness up a wee bit there because I thought I'm just wasting away there slightly. Uh, so it's little monogrammed mugs with socks and they were a fiver each and I work with four other women on Christmas day, I think. I think there will be one male this year so I'll have to go and pick him something up just for a wee minding as well. Um, but because I'm working with like four other ladies, I just picked them one of them up each so it's £20, it's, it's not a ridiculous amount of money. I don't mind giving it for Christmas Day. It's just a silly wee thing, just a mind in. And then sometimes I'll stick in a wee miniature of alcohol, like a wee fizzy bubble or a wee miniature of wine or something like that. And I stick that in as well. Uh, I don't think any of my work colleagues will be watching this either. So I'm not desperately worried that they're like, oh, that's what I'm getting for my Christmas. <laughs> it's not a planned thing. I just like to give a wee something on Christmas Day because I think it is a shit day to work. But I think that is it. I think that's all about, like there is a whole massive bag of sweeties. I've got a massive bag of sweeties because I just like stocking fillers and everybody loves a sweetie, let's face it. Uh, but I'm not going to go through all the sweeties with you. <laughs> I think that would just be a bit mental. Um, I think as well, anybody who's watching this, if you live in the UK, you'll already know them. And anybody who's living in America, you probably get a better selection of <laughs> sweeties than we do anyway. These, I don't know if you get these in America, to be fair. Sports mix, these are Alan's dad's favourite. So like a pound, it's just a bag of sweeties. It's very stocking, it's nothing fancy. <laughs> but I've got loads of different stupid sweetie bags uh, just for the stocking fillers. But it was all right, it was not a bad haul. Just daft things, but I thought I was just getting a little idea. But I probably will pop in again on Friday. morning today is friday i'm just checking in with you again so i had oh itchy nose sorry i had zero intention of going to the post office again um after i'd been the other day but don't worry i am not covid i'm not coughing anything like that i live in an area in glasgow where they have decided that they are going to screen every single resident but they have asked if every single resident in this area will go and get tested because the numbers of people who are becoming positive are quite high. So they want to know if there's lots of asymptomatic carriers. I don't know how beneficial it's gonna be for me and Alan getting tested. But then again, Alan works in another area um, up in East Renfrewshire and I know their numbers are really high. So maybe he's floating about with people in his work. I do work in a hospital as well. But I know for a fact I'm not in contact with anybody who really lives in my area other than my neighbours. So I don't think I'm spreading it about my area. <laughs> I hope. Uh, I have been tested before just via my work, but they are postal tests and because we done them, we have to send them today. So I'm gonna go, I don't actually think I have to go to the post office. I just have to go to a priority post box. That's, that's what it said anyway. First of all, we got a delivery from H&M. We got a delivery from H&M. I got a delivery from H&M. There is the odd house bit in it, but let me just tell you about that. Uh, I ordered a duvet set and really stupidly, <laughs> ordered a single duvet so that was really helpful so that is getting sent back so I'm also going to go and drop that off today at the post office and I also picked up some house bits because I am still in my dressing gown at the moment uh, but when this parcel arrived I thought why not just give you a little try on haul uh, and I'm not saying I'm going to keep everything but what I picked up I'm going to sound like a total basic bitch I'm sorry uh, I picked up some like woolly joggers and a new cardigan and like woolly crop top, like woolly stuff to kick about the house in. I do have the odd pair of joggies and um, you know leggings to kick about the house, but they're a little bit done in. They're probably about three to four years old. So I thought I'm gonna get myself some luxurious, um, what do you call it again? 
like homeware, is that what they call it? No, I can't remember what it's called. Like looks, houseware, like fancy. What do they call that? Is it casual wear? I don't remember, I'm really sorry. So I picked up some stuff, it's all beige. I'm telling you, basic as fuck. So as I said, I picked up some woolly joggies. So they're like that kind of nice beige mal color. And these ones have like a little cuffed hem. So I've bought them and I got all of these in a medium, just for reference. I'm a UK size 12, I would say. I can be a 10 on the top, but I could be a 14 to a 16 on the bottom. It depends where you shop. Then I picked up um, this, which is like a nice cardigan again from the same kind of collection. It's got tortoiseshell buttons on it too, which I thought was nice. It's really oversized, even though again, this is still a medium. And then I picked up another set, which is a little bit more of a fine, oh, sorry, the color. Oh, I got really dark there, sorry. Um, it is dark this morning. I know that looks nice and bright out my window, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it is grey. I live in Scotland, I talk about it all the time. Uh, so yeah, sorry, this is a bit more of a fine knit. So these are a bit more like, they're a bit more see-through. You can definitely see through them, so they're definitely gonna be housewear. Uh, these are like a wide leg pant and they are ribbed. I don't know if you can see, yeah, there you go. And they have like a big wide leg on them, but they are so, so soft. And I think they'll be really, really comfy. Again, did I get these in a medium? Yes, I did. And again, these are the age now conscious stuff. I picked these up on Black Friday. Um, I get, like I say, all these deliveries are coming really, really quickly. Um, again, medium top, and it's just a matching crop top, but the trousers look really high-waisted. Let's try them on. Let's try them on. We'll see how we go. All right, so this is the kind of more, like, lighter, but, like, soft and ribbed one. Oh, you can you even see the ribbon on that? I don't know. But these are definitely more like a flared trouser. I, for reference point, I'm five foot four. Um, five foot five, a push. I like to kid myself on. But... <laughs> Um, these are very see-through. So this is what they look like. I think they're really nice actually. I think they're really cozy comfy. Very high-waisted on the top and as I say the crop top does come there but it's not like I'm flashing my navel. It still is very very comfortable. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Just like flashing the tits at you here. Um, there's really not much to them. I wouldn't worry about it. So I quite like these. I think they're quite nice. Very comfy, very cozy for just kicking about the house in. And this is the oversized kind of cardi. But again, I got this in a medium. I have to say, I fucking love this. I really love this. It looks particularly a different colour on this camera. I don't know, maybe not when I actually upload it to my computer. But this is perfect. This is like perfect. Perfect to just kick about the house in. And to be fair, I would absolutely wear this out and about. I think with jeans, it's very cozy, very casual, and I would probably wear it right through like to springtime. Um, yeah, love this. And even with the crop top underneath, love it. All right, so this is the other trousers. I actually really like these too. So these have a bit more of like a cuffed edge around the bottom. Uh, again, these are much thicker. They're like a much thicker wool. I would feel much more comfortable wearing these out of the house. Much more like just a jogger style, but very, I like them, I like them a lot. Uh, they have a little tie, tie here. Um, yes, like these two. I, I might just wear these out to the post office. Fucking hell, really like these. What do you think? You like it? Couldn't give a fuck. Because I didn't want to keep both sets, but I did get them on Black Friday and now I'm kind of thinking. Did need new loungewear. Loungewear! <laughs> that was the word I couldn't remember. <laughs> loungewear. So I bought myself some looks loungewear. And actually, I really, really like this stuff, so I probably will be keeping a hold of it. Uh, but now I'm going to rush out to the priority post box and uh, maybe the post office just to take back the, what do you call it, single bed sheets or that I didn't mean to buy because I meant to buy double. Hey, I just got back in from the post office. We just got a bit of bad news there. So Alan just phoned me on the way home when I was driving home and he was like, look, there's been a bit of problem. It's not Alan's uncle, it's Alan's great uncle. So it's Alan's dad's uncle. Lives down in Birmingham, which is down in England, which is a good five hour drive from here. It's quite far away. And Alan's mum and dad are really only, the only relative 
of this uncle um, that can go and visit him anyway. Like Alan's uh, granny is still alive and that's his dad's mum, but she is a fair age as well and she can't go and see him. So they do their best normally when COVID isn't a situation to go down and see that uncle and they look after him and they kind of set him up and they try and go at least every kind of two to three months just to make sure that he's absolutely fine and safe and he does have carers and stuff like that as well but they kind of liaise with all that kind of stuff and make sure that he's okay and we got a horrible phone call well Alan's dad got a horrible phone call saying that that uncle had been found very unwell and kind of out in the street cold and just you know as sometimes elderly people when they're getting a bit confused and maybe an infection is on board they can get really confused and be out and about when they probably shouldn't be so nobody likes bad news before christmas and i do really hope that he's okay um i really hope he's okay for alan's mom and dad's sake because i've never met the man but for alan's mom and dad i know they, they do a lot for him and they really care about him so i hope he's okay but they are going to have to go to birmingham because it's an emergency situation and they are his power of attorney so to speak and he has nobody else down there so even though we are in full lockdown they are going to have to go down um because it's an emergency situation and the hospital have asked them to come so the silver lining to that unfortunate conversation is we are going to be looking after the dog <laughs> So Alan's mum and dad have a spaniel called Maisie. I'm not sure if she's ever been in any vlogs or anything. I can't think. Uh, but they have a spaniel called Maisie. And she is going to be coming to visit for a good few days. So I'll hopefully get a little bit of filmage for you. Um, this evening especially when she comes in I'll get a little clip of her. Uh, but right now I'm going to get on with this uh, video filming. So Maisie's here. Sorry. Full face of makeup now because I have done a few videos. I've got lashes on and I've been checking out. But I thought I would introduce you to Maisie. It's also going to be a lovely tone of yellow throughout, I get it, because I've got warm lights in my living room and it's not daylight, so you just have to be used to it. But this, this is Maisie! And look, that's Pebs. Pebs is our best friend. They get on really, really well together. Hello! You saying hello? Hello! Hello, Maisie, Maisie! And look, Pebs and her are like best friends. They've known each other since they were a puppy and a kitten, and they just get on so well. Molly, on the other hand, is nowhere to be seen because she doesn't mind the dog, but they don't, she just likes to stay away from her. Um, but yeah, Pebbles and, <laughs> look at them. Um, but yeah, they are best buddies, honestly. I know you'll be like, oh my God, what's going on in your house? But they are best buddies. Hello, I got you turn. Hello. Uh, they are actually really, really good friends. So they are going to get on like a house on fire. But my poor Molly, I'm going to have to try and find her and make sure she's okay. Morning, it's Sunday morning definitely the afternoon now we've had a very lazy Sunday morning um but we are going to go and take Maisie a lovely wee walk now so we're going to go for a wee stop wearing my new cardigan but wearing it outside the house um so we're going to go a wee stop with the dog go for a wee walk I have a parcel that um you know one of those little royal mail things came through and it's at the collection office so it seems like this vlog has became every day I go to the post office so we're gonna go for a wee stroll someone is very excited to be going out She's got a very fetching coat on. practically pitch black. The street lights are on, so we're heading home. Um, I'm going to put the new TV bench up in preparation for the decorations next week. Alan's thrilled. Alan hates decoration, he hates Christmas. He's such a grinch. A Scrooge. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, so we just got in from our walk with the dog. It is so dark now and I'm just wanting to get cosy and go to my bed. Um, we are going to put the TV bench up, um, but once we've done that, there's not going to be much else. So I think I'm going to round up the wee weekly vlog here. And next week will be a little bit more exciting because I'm going to be putting up the decorations and things this week. But hopefully you've enjoyed this and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye. Thank you.